didn't complain but uh, she continued to grow closer in love and devotion so this is really how um in in as we see the mary's life as she cooperate with god's grace of the holy spirit through her disposition the holy fear of the lord manifests and bear fruits of the holy spirit so let's also look in our lives like where are we how are we uh, forming ourselves to to be ready for the lord's spirits to work in us do we even bother to listen to god do we bother to even just spend a little time uh, of prayer to to tell um to tell us what the lord is asking us to do do we also avoid when when someone speaks something that kind of struck your heart uh, to call you for example to serve or to dedicate your time with the lord or do we also put that effort to understand more about him do we put effort to read bible to also even uh, understanding about holy spirit do we even bother to come here um, do I see all of you have taken the first step to come here and learn more about the Holy Spirit? So, uh, what else can we make our soul even more fertile uh, to let God's uh, work to be revealed in us? So, just uh, we last read that more. I would like to invite someone to share um, a little bit more about the story of how she has also tried to practice this and um, being able to. Um, uh, encounter the presence of God and the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the other one. So I'd like to invite Reta! Can I guess? Stan! Stan! Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was okay. Okay, as you know, I, I'm now in the fourth team, but my way to court team is like something that I never imagined and mm. it's like something I want to avoid so when Fina first asked me do you want to help me to be a court team then I was like no <laughs> so <laughs> but anyway I reflect again like because I cannot I'm not a person who like um, make decision quite fast so I have a lot of things to uh, reflect and think first before I make a decision. Uh. So, uh, the first thing I have in mind is that oh no, if I become court team, I confirm my time will be like uh, very, you know, I have to dedicate a lot of my time for this stuff. It's like go meeting, lah, which is like I hate very much. Like, mm-hmm. If I don't like to go meeting, and then like go maybe like to the parish meeting lah, or like to the event lah, to like sacred meeting, which I don't know the people. Like, I have no interest at all and then so I will have less time to, for my me time because mm-hmm. like, I'm introvert so I have, I have I need time to charge my myself to, to charge my energy back then because as you know I, I I'm I'm a Korean drama lover <laughs> so uh, like I, I'm worried it's my fear that oh no I cannot watch Korean drama like I will have less time to like uh, you know, like to have my own pleasure. I'm also human. I need to watch Korean drama to to refresh my mind from the from my work. So like it's a fear for me. Like oh no, I will, I cannot, I cannot do other things. Like it will like confine me. I don't. It, it will like, you know, I cannot. I can't move much. So I'm scared of that. And also another fear that I have is that because previously I have in the service team, and. For me, it was quite disappointing for me because uh, I feel that I'm I was I felt at that time as a service team I can't give a lot of support for that uh, court team and I cannot be given like the whole things as in I cannot do my I, I didn't do my best during my service at that time and I fear that oh if I fail again then what will happen to me will it like oh uh, maybe will my service be like at the time again like I will fail and then like I will just give up and then quit. Do I, be, do I do that again? So it's a fear to me. I'm scared and that's why I at the time I was a bit doubting like oh, okay maybe better not other than like disappointing other people again then like I disappointed myself again and disappointing God lah. And then uh, I think there's one time where during mm-hmm. Advent I go for confession <coughs> and I think the, I tell the priest about my concern and my, my worries and he tell me that just think of what God has given to you that, that's the 
uh, one of the panel signs is mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, just think again of what what God has given to you in your life and look back. Then I was just thinking again, it's like, okay, he gave a lot of, like, my life seems okay, like, okay, like normal, a lot of difficulties here and there, but, okay, job is like, okay, like, God, quite relaxed, good boss, and like, uh, the work is not really heavy, it's not like, very, like, must, must do what, difficult thing, so, okay, then, still can have time, like, can go, uh, go home at 6pm, still okay, and other than that, okay, then like, oh, okay, maybe thinking about future or so, and at the time, I also have a fear of, oh, what if, like, I want to do further studies and <coughs> maybe I can't, like, do further studies because of this email, something mm. like that. So, it's like, oh, I fear that also. But then, I don't <coughs> see why I cannot serve, I, I cannot serve as God thing because God has so God has given a lot of things to me that I get a job in Singapore is just more than enough for me. I can stay in Singapore. So, like, I thought, okay. <laughs> the reason like why I cannot uh, I cannot I why I have to reject this so okay seems okay then okay okay I, I just pray to God okay go if like if like I really go for this then just be with me because I'm scared I have a lot of worries like and my voice is a bit stupid because I don't I cannot uh, watch Korean drama anymore so just uh, give me the like you guide me and you just be with me because I'm scared and I know that like from Toby and Emma, like I see how they are very uh, stressful, not stressful, uh, like it's difficult to be <coughs> in the part team and it also traumatized me because like, oh no, what if like I become like, like, oh, I'm so traumatized and comfortable again with service and what if like, I hate God because of it and it's also my fear also. So I tell God, God, okay, just, uh, so I just, I like the song, the Hill song song, which is like, even when it hurts, so mm. even when it hurts, let me just praise for you, and even when it hurts, just, okay, just let me love you, and okay, serve you, whatever, just give me the strength to, like, go for it, so, okay, I tell you know, okay, then, okay, and then, okay, yeah, I just help, okay, Fina, I help you, okay, mm. but after I, I serve for a few months, it's not like a smooth mm. journey, and it's not, like suddenly make me a holy person with like oh, wisdom like oh no let's uh, like oh suddenly like i can commit myself and, like, oh very uh godly person but it's not like that at all i think i'm still a person who is still a lot of uh unworthiness a lot of like uh i still do things like even just recently only like when i preparing for this testimony somehow like god really uh, show me how I'm. I don't have fear of the Lord, and He teach me that. And because a few days ago, like, I was making mistake in my work, and and my boss a bit complaining to me because I make that mistake. So, I I scared of him because like he's quite busy. Then like oh, mm-hmm. oh no, I like I made mistake. Then he complained. It's like oh, okay, like a bit guilty. Then then in the same day, like, after the, after that only like I make another mistake. I scared, I, I somehow like become more scared and then okay I don't want to tell my boss that I make this mistake so I just keep quiet which is like I'm being dishonest and okay let me just keep it in myself like okay if nobody tells then my boss won't know so okay just don't tell then tomorrow like maybe things getting better then I will tell uh. then I pray to God God don't let this boss know of my of my mistake just don't let me don't let him know so okay then until then I go home and it's like, okay, God, don't, don't let him know, please. If, if you don't let him know, I will pray or oh, always pray to you. It's like, bullshit. So, okay, until night, uh, seems okay, okay, like, until night. Then 10 p.m. he called me, like, suddenly he called me. I was like, oh no, he found out. Oh no, what should I, what should I do? Then really, like, he told me, like, oh, oh, you do this just now. Yeah, I'm sorry, I say. I didn't tell you. Then it's like, it's okay, it's not a big deal. Like he said, like, it's okay, but you need to tell me, but it's not really a big deal, so it's okay, okay. Then I say sorry again. But then at that time, like, I feel like, oh, uh, it feels like I already hurt God by lying to my boss. And actually God can like do anything to me, like just let my boss uh, be angry to me at that time because he's, he's very busy, he got a lot of things to do, he need to OT, then he can just be angry to me because of this small thing, but he don't. and. God makes him not to ang- to get angry to me and I guess that 
it's really it's really like God's grace because sometimes he can do it like temperamental guy. So hmm. but at the time like he, he say when he say like it's not really a big deal, I was like, Oh, God really like give me even though I sin, even though I lie to my boss, even though I really like following the evil not God, but God still did is still there. He still like saying, Oh, okay, you are lying but I still love you, I still forgive you and I do this for you. And after that I realized that I've already like really hurting God so much but God still loves me and for at that point of time I just resolved to myself like I don't want to lie anymore. Because I like I think lie is like uh, our human nature. So it's really happened yeah, it's happened to me. it's like part of me also and I say that I don't want to like because I feel that after all everything that God has given has God has done for me and now he's still doing like really kind being so kind to me and I just don't want to like hurt him anymore and like don't want to lose the love that he has given to me. Like. So yeah, that's that's the only <laughs> okay, so yeah. thank you, Eta, for your sharing. And you know, that's how we also see that she had a lot of phobia, fear, fear of like surface, fear of uh, being traumatized, like Toby and me. <laughs> yeah, and also fear of like you know being punished by the boss. You know, like phobia, fear. But you know, as she start to to listen to God, <coughs> listen to the priest and I think that is the courage that she took also to go for confession and tell and consult with the priest um, to really build that you know like condition where the Lord can work through the Holy Spirit inside her and that's really how she then grow in the um, gift of the fear of the Lord where we started to look you know uh, she looked at the precious love that uh, God has given to her and not wanting to hurt him in the future. So, just to summarize um, for this session, hopefully uh, you've learned something uh, new um, or if not new, to really um, encourage you to think about your spiritual journey with God. Where are you now and how have you been developing that disposition to let God to work in our life or have we been suppressing the Holy Spirit that God has given us through our pride, through our sins or through our uh, ignorance. And uh, we also need to remember that the fear of the Lord bonds out of love and reference for God. It's not uh, phobia or like something that we are scared because of the punishment or hell. Um, and this is really the important gift that uh, we need to build to uh, let the other gifts to also manifest in us um, and uh, as we see also in Reta's life and even Mother Mary's life how it has bring fruit to hope, humility uh, and also love so um, let's all uh, pray together as one community and later on as we go for the sharing let's also share more about how we can be the better uh, disciple of Christ and let the, His Spirit to be revealed Thank you.